Oops. Hello and welcome, my plebbies. Back to FTL. Last time, we lost. Uh, I just hit restart. So that we can play again. Let's see what it says. <coughs> the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey. So make sure to explore each sector before moving on up. Moving on up. To the next. But get to the exit before pursuing before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip: Hidden choices. When you see a blue colored choice in an event, it's a special option that is made that has been made available by your current equipment. Yeah. So we have the same team as last time. Patri, plebi, pleb, ple, ple, pleb. And cookie. And we're gonna go again. Now, every time we play FTL, it's even when we restart, we get a different set of maps. It's all randomly generated. Ah, shoot. And it basically. Every time you play FTL, it's something a little bit different. So you can either be extremely lucky and not get attacked a lot. And get like a really easy playthrough, even when you have easy mode selected. Or you can get something really ridiculous and just terrible. It's and it would be absolutely nuts. Hopefully, this time is not going to be quite as bad as last time. Although last time was a bit better at first, I must say that wasn't half bad. I've had better games though, I'm, I, I do have to admit. I have had better games of FTL. This is music, Oh, it's, it's, oh. I expressed this last episode, but I love FTL music, this FTL music. It's beautiful. Um. Yeah, let's be, let's be nice about this, and not be massive um butts ah shoot ah I even shoot Sh even shootier what is this what is this what is this There we go. Oh, they have a cloaking thing. We didn't get the cloaking thing last time, but we almost did. Fortunately, it's just a scout, so it's not extremely, you know, terrifying or dangerous or anything. But it can still cause us damage. And it's still something we need to watch out for. If something lights on fire, we can actually- <gasps> Christ! <sighs> yeah! We killed him. Well, we didn't kill him. We got rid of him. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Do not do that. Uh, every time they light on fire, something lights on fire, I need to send somebody to uh, put it out, or, or I can do this. Which means the fire doesn't have oxygen anymore, because it's the void of space. The void. A freaking space. I mean, jeez. Um, so that basically means that there's no oxygen feeding the fire. So, of course, logic dictates that the fire can't burn anymore. They're powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Uh, right now, this is what I want to worry about because then they can get um. Then they can get people on our ship. And, well, pretty sure everyone saw what happened the last time that happened. So, the burst laser will be placed on the... this thing. And I'll put that thing on the engines. And we'll play it that way. Ah, uh, like... like that. Go die on... 
go die in a hole, you freaking thing. Go die on a hole. On a hole. Not in a hole. On a hole. hole. So, what I'm hoping to do is to suffocate their guys. And that way... Them getting aboard our ship isn't that big of a deal. No! Stop, you're not supposed to do that. You're not... You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to suffocate there. Unfortunately, suffocation doesn't work that quickly. So there's not a whole lot of anything I can really do. Mm, yeah. I need to keep hitting them. Um, well, I know they have humans aboard, so they'll need their oxygen thing. Now I can't see the insides of my ship. Flip, 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 flip. Patrick, go fix it. You go fix this. Uh, cookie. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Yeah! Whew! That was close. Well, not really, but... It was close enough. Uh, this is Patry, and that's Cookie. Pleb. None of them have any. Well, but um, Patry has a little bit of weapon skills and some repair skills, of course. Repair skills and engine skills on Cookie, and of course, Ple Pleb has piloting skills. Good job, Pleb. Uh, you guys actually need to go here and here. Unfortunately, I deoxygenized the ship trying to get rid of the intruders, so... Oops. Ah. Hot cocoa. Mm. The beacon, at first glance, seems home to a junkyard. Upon closer inspection, it reveals itself to be a ramshackle market. One trader has a deal that catches your eye. No. And the exit. Try and get in and out as quick as possible. Uh, let's leave it be. We don't want another of last time happening. So here's the thing. Sometimes you go to places like you have options between the Rebel Sector and the Pirate Sector. Now it's the Mantis Sector and the Zoltan Sector. We want to go to the Zoltan Sector because the Mantises, when they get up aboard your ship, suck. Like, you get owned by Mantises all the time. And it's not a good thing. <laughs> That's how I've lost plenty. Holy cow, look. Did anybody notice? How fami- except for this, how familiar this landmass section is? Eh? Uh, eh? Uh, eh? Uh. Maybe it's just me. You've entered Zoltan territory. The species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing. But they can always be- but you can always be assured for a fair hearing. Unless, of course, there's a distress call. In which case, we're ignoring it. Uh, Nebula... Can go this way. We're going that way. Because I don't want to bother with the other way. Because that's distress signals, and that means we have to help people and do things, which is. Uh. You arrive at the Zoltan Research Facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has time to undergo a few scans. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Nice! Zoltan cake! Love me some cake. Never hurts. Well, unless it's poisoned cake. I guess then it's kind of... Yeah... A mantis crew here has hungered down in the abdomen of a long-dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look? Oh, I don't... Cool. 
So this is basically a lot of the same options we had last time. It keeps, I know, it keeps stopping. It's because of Bandicam. I need to find a better thing. I know, I know, I know. Basically, mantises are running a shop out of the corpse of a giant space whale. Not creepy or anything. Let's see what we can buy. Weapon pre-igniter. Weapons maintenance immediately available after it. Nope. Adds additional info about will we do want this. That's always useful. Ah, uh, that's hecka expensive. Um, never heard to get with some more of this. Do that, but we're not gonna do that. Um, what else? Yeah, let's repair. So why not? Never hurts. Never hurts. Sure. Um, yeah, I want to make sure the ship gets oxygenized. Oxygen, oxygenized, just in case. Before we go. Hmm. Shoot. This area is going to uh, ion storm, ship, and just nebula. Okay, let's go there, I guess. Ah, uh, shoot. Used by two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of your presence. You're able to get... You're able to get your scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying fuel supplies, the other ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in storm. Let them leave. I don't want to fight. Sometimes discretion is the better part of the valor. Uh, why? Why can... So we're stuck here, basically. Why? I get that we got the thing shocked. Oh, we need to... Oh, shoot. Ha! Huh. That could have been bad had I forgot the oxygen thing. That could have been real bad. The question, now the question of the day is, can we get to the exit from here? Hopefully so. Without active sensors, you have no, you have no option but to look out of the viewports in apprehension. It's eerily quiet. Yeah, we can reach it. Cool, we got to the next sector. Well... Cool, we got to the next sector. We'll go to the the Engi controlled sector. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm thinking we'll go up this way. This is like the boss level here. I don't know if we'll ever get there. Hopefully. We can hope. <laughs> You have arrived, Envy. You have arrived in Engi space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life these robotic life forms. But they're usually willing to help. As long as we don't come across too many baddies. Uh, ship, ship, nothing. We kind of have to go through this just beacon. We don't have an option. Well, we do, but. I don't really want to mess with it. A ship without life forms with a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off a distress call. Uh, let's not do that. There's a store there. Do we want to go to the store? Mmm. One, two, three, four. Mm. We don't really have any money. Let's not go to the store. Oh, I forgot to give things back to the shields. Debris from a battle scattered around this system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there is a functioning weapon. A weapon. Of Ooh. So we can do. Oops. Nope. Let's not do that. Um. Ship. Equipment. Oh, we have two burst lasers now. <coughs> Uh, we don't really need the Artemis anymore, quite honestly. 
But that'll be fine for now. That'll be fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can get rid of them, but I'm not sure why would you you would want to. I guess if later on you get like a whole load of crew from like shops and stuff, you can replace them out, I guess. Why not? Uh this is where we can like upgrade parts of our ship. Um the oxygen thing is honestly just so that oxygen doesn't go doesn't go out. Let's get more power bars. And we'll want more of this for the stagecraft. Except now we have loads of power board power 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 Nerzmers of Perzapurs. <laughs> we can lower down on this so we can fire both both burst lasers at one time if we really want to. Um we can just go this way instead. Honestly morally, I think we should like go we think we should go to the distress and like help people out, but honestly, it's in our best interest not to. Because it's for the greater good. I promise. Means to an end. But what is a few lives... But what is three lives to three million? Four to four billion. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. The FTL drive to recharge. We'll just wait. And that didn't take long at all. Store! And we have no money, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG hive at this beacon are now selling equipment for just that. Basically, it's nothing that the other areas didn't have. Um, we don't have quite enough, but we should have. Some, we should get some more of that uh, eventually. I'm going to keep the Artemis on, just in case. Just in case, because you never know. If we get another weapon, then I'm going to get rid of the Artemis altogether. You've arrived at a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. And we're not doing that. <laughs> next sector. Uncharted Nebula, Slugs. Honestly, we want to avoid... Um, mm, let's go here. The unknown. Screw it. It's better than going into an area where we know there are slugs who may not be great. Um, the nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all of these jump beacons would be no easy task. However, now it's hardly navigable. Navigable. Navigate. Navigatable. Sure. Uh, so yeah, the rebels look like looks like they have this area pretty well mapped out. They do. Unfortunately, we're not the rebels. We're not the rebels. It's too bad. You cycle through the wide band calm channels. As soon as you arrive, nothing but static. So that basically, there's no ships here. Um. Well, we kind of have to go this way. Um, your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly be stationed looking for you. You power down non-essential systems and slip into the cloud. The ship never noticed you. Yes! Sometimes that doesn't work. And that's generally not a good thing. Just saying. Uh, you cross paths with an advanced scout of rebel fleet and I can't read but basically it's bad things let's shoot him up first laser well we don't really need to have anything into the FTL drive we can, we can oh what there's enough oh no it can only hold so much okay right 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 had I been paying attention, I would have known that. 
Oh man, I think that skipped part of it. Crap. All crew members have died. Your ship will continue to drift for eternity. Or the ruse will Oh. I hope I didn't miss most of that, but basically he shot us a whole bunch of times and we died. You didn't miss much. Ah, <laughs> oh, That was tough. Really was. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all next time we play FTL. Or second. Well, no. I won't see you, and neither will you see me. So, you'll hear me next time? Question mark? Fine. Bye!